Greetings Cyberdogs, this is Rendog coming at you from the Forge Rooms in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.4 Survival Series. In the previous episode, we got back from a freaking ridiculous adventure to an abandoned mine shaft via a nether portal in the nether fortress. And now we're back at the molehole. And guys, thank you so much for all the freaking comments that you guys have left me in the previous episodes. And I have now learned what infinity means. And um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you haven't watched the previous episode. And I'm freaking angry with your ass. And you have just ruined my Saturday. You bastard. <laughs> uh, just kidding. But seriously, go watch the previous episode. Guys, infinity means that all you need in your inventory is one arrow. And you can, your bow will have infinite freaking arrows. So I am going to be able to make Rambo an infinite arrow bow and i've just collected 10 levels from the butthole i've spent some time with the butthole and now with 10 levels i can make rambo have infinite ammo bam oh that is epic so now rambo has infinite arrows let's test it out um yep look 37 37 it doesn't lose arrows so that is what wow, that is just beyond epic i mean oh my goodness I could not be happier with that, man. Let us put down our excess arrows. All we actually need is one arrow um, up in here. So that is freaking sweet. Oh, man, that is epic. Now, guys, I have also, as you can see, kitted myself out with some new shiny iron armor. And uh, we are heading back into the nether and back to the nether fortress and into the nether fortress portal back to where we first arrived um, a few episodes back because what I want to do now is actually head um, southwest from that location toward the molehole and who knows what wonders we may come across. Um, we, ooh, hello nether portal temple, looking sweet. Um, we're going to have to travel through the ocean though. Um, ooh, we have a piggy visitor. Uh, we're going to have to make a boat and travel across the ocean though because our new nether portal has actually spawned in a dungeon below the ocean so an epically awesome and epically lucky nether portal spawn i must say so myself unfortunately the spawner itself is just a zombie spawner and um that is rather unfortunate if it was any other kind of spawner then i might have considered doing something with it oh a magma cube give me a creep oh it was just a baby um if it was any other spawner, I might have considered building a facility there, but it is just a zombie spawner and that kind of sucks. So that is unfortunate, but... Oh, no, 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 fire, not good. But um, it's still really, really sweet that we found it. And, um, oh God, I still haven't made a new waypoint in the nether. Um, so we're just going to have to get to our nether fortress by memory. I do believe it's up here. Yes, here's the little stairway. Um... Now, as some of you guys have mentioned in the previous videos that you feel that I am perhaps relying too much on the map mod that I have going. And I think I kind of agree with you. Um, in the previous episodes, I was looking at the map like this a lot. And maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't do that so much. Um, I, I think, you know, I think it kind of, the, this map mob, mod, while it is really cool, it does kind of take away the exploration side of Minecraft. Um, you know, it, it's much easier to, to not get lost than it used to be. And, um, you know, I think I think I kind of preferred it when we were sort of lost. Um, or we didn't really know where we were. Because it just gives you more incentive to explore rather than just, like, follow um, the map home. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set a, a rule for myself that I cannot do this and I cannot look at the big map. Um, I can only look at what the hell? Oh God, that must have been a, a, a ghastly explosion. Um, I can only look at the small map in the top left hand, uh, the top right hand corner there. And that is the only use I can make of our map mod. So I, I'm going to try that for a few episodes, see how that goes. Uh, it might be pointless, but, um, you know let, let's let's try that let's try that guys right so we are heading back to our newly found dungeon hello dungeon um i pillaged it already uh, for all of its sweet ass mossy cobblestone now what i want to do is try get to the surface as painlessly as possible uh hopefully without dying and um <laughs> let's let's see if we can actually achieve that 
What the hell? Ah. <laughs> this is this is the tunnel that I made. Um, man, that was... But I'm sure I made a tunnel over here. Did I make a tunnel over here? See this? I mean, this is the tunnel that we... Oh, that was the, 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 the original tunnel. Man, check these freaking... This cobblestone is still here. Sweet. I do actually need a whole bunch of more cobblestone, so don't mind if I do. Uh, I will collect that cobblestone happily. And a little bit of coal. Um, right. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, well, let's just pick up all of this cobblestone that we've left behind. Oh, we're back in the abandoned mine shaft now. Right, so let us try and figure out how exactly we can get to the surface of the ocean without dying uh, from drowning. Right, let's get back to the original portal. Which is all the way at the end of this strip. Here we go. Okay, so I think what we're going to need to do is dig upwards. Now I know digging upwards is never a good idea. So what I'm going to do is try and dig upwards in a smart way. Um, instead of just digging one, you know, digging up directly one i'm going to dig directly two so in case if if we hit gravel i can quickly shift into the other um this other row if you know what i'm saying um right let's carry on going and we'll know when we hit ocean and then what I, what i'll probably do is just swim up i guess um all right so here we go we, we're definitely going to have to make some sort of landmark too just in case we make a boat and we get completely and utterly lost um right as soon as we hit ocean i want to plug the hole so that we can get as close to that hole as possible to 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 let us you know not give us the least amount of uh swimmage time that we have to um right so i think we're pretty close no and there's the water we've broken through and not good sand there's the surface Swim, you bastard! Swim! Come on! Swim! <laughs> no! <laughs> Go up! Go up! I can see the surface! I can see the surface! Come on! Come on, baby! Oh, my lord! One and a half hearts! Oh, God! That's, I mean, just ridiculous, really. Um, okay. <laughs> right so there's the mole hole guys um we are heading in that direction as soon as we have a, a, a bit more life we're gonna i'm gonna try and build like a pillar if possible um right let's see come on go 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 Maybe I should have waited for more hearts. Okay, there we go. All right, sweet. Whew, damn, that was freaking close. All right, there we go, guys. So now we've got a little pillar going up in here in the middle of the ocean. Um, this is kind of like Waterworld, right? You guys have watched Waterworld, right? Right, let's make some planks. Let's make some plankage. And we're going to need to make uh, a boat. But what I want to do is quickly make a little platform. It's like a little harbor, man. This is sweet. All right, there we go. Right, let's put our crafting table in the middle, and uh, we need a, we need a couple torches around here too. So it's like in the middle of nowhere, man. <laughs> if any explorers come across this, they're just gonna be like, "What in the jazz is that?" Right. So boat. Let us prepare boat. Sweet. Okay. Epic. 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 Oh, check, we picked up the piece of obsidian that we threw away. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, OCD is kicking in. I need to actually make this a little bit cooler. Let's do it like this. There we go. Sweet. All right, that's, that, that's looking epic. Kind of, actually. It doesn't look like anything. It's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> um, and if we do it like this... As we run out of plankage. There we go. I like that better. Okay, sweet. I'm happy with that. 
Right, so, <laughs> any who's all, let us, let us um, set sail, and man, we are on a freaking mission, guys. Who knows what we're going to discover in the new overworld that we have discovered, but we are going to get going, man. Let us get in this freaking boat, and now we are just going to head across in that southeasterly direction to the mole hole. Who knows what we'll come across. I'm guessing just a whole butt ton of ocean for quite a long time, but we should hit the mainland at some point. Um, I, I doubt that this is the ocean, um, you know, that's next to the, the lakeside villa. I'm pretty sure that this is on the other side of the second continent. So this is like, you know, the second continent is also an island, basically. So, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, the Molehole Island and the second continent island are basically one giant island, right? And this is literally like the Pacific Ocean. Um, I mean, this is a this is a big ass ocean. If I ever did see one, man, damn. Ooh, hang on, hello, hello. What have we up in here? Okay, so this is whoa, whoa, Creeper Island. It looks like. <laughs> oh man, there's actually a cave in there. Wow, that is a freaking butt ton of mobs. I want to actually go check out that cave. And now that the sun is coming up, these, these guys are actually about to die. And the fact that we have um, infinite arrows means that Rambo is actually going to be able to make short work of all these freaking creepers. If I'm able to hit them. One down. Two down. Three down. Four down. Sweet. Okay, how do we get out of here? There we go. <laughs> Check that that dude's like watching the sun the sunrise, but uh that is a sunrise you do not want to be watching, my friend, seriously. Oh Lord! Bam! Die, creeper! Alright, there we go. Sweet. Um I'm just gonna let the sun destroy these bastards. Except not you. <laughs> burn, you bastards, burn. <laughs> Check it then. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> he was bringing me some gunpowder. Thanks, buddy. Give me all your XP balls. Sweet. Alright, there's a couple more creepers to take care of over here. Dudes, how sweet is Rambo now with infinite freaking arrows? Oh my goodness gracious. This is like... This, that was the one of the luckiest... Uh, finds that I've ever found. I don't know if infinity is a, a rare enchantment. I'm, I'm guessing that it is a pretty rare enchantment because it's a pretty imbalanced freaking ability, man. Infinite arrows? Damn! I mean, that's insane. Imagine having in real life a bow with infinite arrows, man. Damn. That would be intensely awesome. Oh, okay, so it looks like this cave... Dude, it wasn't a good idea to come out of that cave, was it? Feeling like a butthole now, ain't ya? Right, so we, well, we got five levels out of it, at least. Alright, so this doesn't look like a cave at all. Um, it's a pretty cool island, though, that will forever be known as Creeper Island. It was literally infested with creepers. Um, right, so back, back in our boat. Let us continue on our journey southeastwards. Let us... No, no, no! Wait for me, boat! <laughs> boat! Man... Jesus, it's like this boat is in space, man. This is like EVE Online. It just doesn't stop moving. Alright, there we go. Sweet. Alright. So, we are 1,600 meters from the mole hole. We came across a, an island infested with creepers. That was pretty cool. Um, quite sad that there wasn't a cave there. I was hoping that there would be a sweet-ass cave there, but unfortunately not. So, onwards we go. Looks like there's another little group of islands over here. Looking pretty cool. Um, man, I don't know about you, but this is actually making me thirsty. <laughs> like all this uh, this ocean around me. Let, let me know in the comment section below if you feel the same. Guys, I'm actually getting seriously thirsty. It feels really hot, man. The sun is... Oh, damn. The sun is beating down on my face. Ow. It burns the eyes. I didn't bring any freaking suntan lotion. Um, there's another tiny little island. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I mean, how far is this? Damn! Alright, well, hope... Ooh, hello. Something's rendering. Something's rendering. 
Oh, hello there. That looks like mainland business. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, looks like we have hit the mainland, people. Um, epic, epic times. Stop. Stop, boat. All right. Well, the boat can stay over here. Um... <laughs> I'm contemplating. I'm not entirely sure what we should do here. Um... Okay, I'm just going to leave the boat there. It's fine. I know that um, the boat, if the mole hole is southeast, I know that the boat is going to be um, northwest, right? So that's how I can find the boat. It's northwest. You guys just remember that for me, man. Northwest is where the freaking boat is. Okay, so we have found our ourselves in a giant freaking desert biome, it looks like. And the last time we were in a desert biome, we actually found... An NPC village, if you guys remember um, correctly. And that was freaking sweet, man. Um, so, let's see if we can actually find something in this desert biome. There, there's got to be something. The sun is up, um, which means we have a butt ton of time to explore this desert. And when the sun goes down, um, the desert is not a place that you want to be. Um, it seems to have a much higher spawn rate than any of the other biomes. I think that's actually a fact. Uh, what... What the hell is that? What in the hell is that? Oh my goodness, people. I think we may have just stumbled across a desert freaking temple, baby. Oh my, this is our first freaking temple in the whole series. In 132 episodes, this is our first temple. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Okay, I have been told... Um, in, by, in the comment section by you guys way back in 1.3 or whenever temples were introduced that these temples are actually booby trapped up the wazoo so I'm not going to be rushing into this temple um, in any way shape or form um, apparently there are booby traps all over the show but I apparently there are epic epic loots down that hole over there there are epic freaking loot this is so sweet guys oh my god and Look at where this um, temple is sitting, actually, in a beautiful, beautiful area right here. Look at this. There's a beautiful um, self-contained sea over here. And then there's this awesome bay over here, guys. This looks like a perfect place for a dock. I really want to maybe incorporate this temple into our world. Let's see if maybe we can increase the size of the temple. Maybe even get some NPC uh, villages over here where maybe we can build them some houses and stuff. So I'm going to be laying down a waypoint right here. Um, this is going to be called the, um, desert temple. <laughs> Unoriginal. Yes. Still sweet. Yes. Also. Um, right. So this is the desert temple right here, people. And, um, oh my God, I, I'm really nervous to explore this. I really don't want to go in there. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I, you know what I think we need to do, guys? I, seriously, I think what we need to do first is actually just make um, like a little place for us to chill. Um, like a little house or something. Because I think we're going to be here for quite a while. So what I want to do is quickly just dig into this mound over here. Um, put up some wooden support beams and just make like a really, really small little mole hole over here. Just before we head into this temple, guys. I think... Um, I'm really nervous because I think the temples are completely and utterly rigged with TNT. And if you don't, you know, if you don't look after uh, yourself in the temple, you get your ass blown the hell up. And I don't want to blow up this temple. I want to preserve this temple. You know, this is like an ancient, ancient temple, man. It is our duty to preserve this piece of history for Rentopia, for the, the society of Rentopia. So they can come to this temple and observe, um, you know, observe, observe. Man, uh, you wow, <laughs> I'm speechless, guys. I am freaking speechless. Um, I'm just so happy that we found this freaking temple. This is so awesome. Okay, so let me quickly finish off this little hut. Um, I think I'm just gonna do it with plankage. Let's make a whole ton, quite a lot of plankage. There we go, 64 plankage should do it. Whoa, that is way, way that, that is not enough freaking headspace up in here. Um, right, so here we go, guys. Because the sun is going down soon, right? And um, we don't want to get caught outside with our freaking pants down when the sun goes down. That's for shizzle.
All right, sweet. Let's just complete the look like this. And then what I'm going to do... Guys, OCD is kicking in. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to make this... I'm going to have to make this awesome. <laughs> Seriously. Um, it's going to have to be awesome. Not like... Not ridiculously awesome. Just... Just... Just awesome. Right, so let's clear the entrance way over here. I'm going to cover it again. I'm going to cover it all in sand again so that we actually have like this little... Um, I don't even know how to call it. It's, ki it's kind of like a, a pharaoh's tomb, I guess. Except it's made out of wood. There we go. Sweet! And the door will go here. This wall's got to go up. These supports have got to go up. There we go. Nice. Nice. And now what we're going to do is cover this all with sand. I know, guys. I know it's crazy. But um, my OCD is kicking in, man. I, I can't just make this horrible little freaking hole. There we go. Sweet. So now you won't even know that underneath this little mound is, in fact, a mini mole hole. <laughs> sweet. Oh, guys, I'm so freaking excited, man. This is so sweet. We found a freaking desert temple. And it looks so freaking awesome, man. Oh, my God. All right. There we go. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's just turn this into wood to complete the look. Excellent. Oh, man, that's epic. And... Oh, yes. Our crafting table is um, at the harbor. So we'll make a new one. And we're just going to craft a little freaking door. And kaplam! Sweet door up in this business. Let's close that off. All right, my friends. Sweet! Whew, damn, Desert Temple. I cannot believe we have found it. And I think we're going to be building something here, guys. It's going to be one of our big projects is to build around here. Because it is so epic. Let's just get some light up around this place. Um, we don't want any freaking spawns getting anywhere close to us. But guys, I think we are going to be heading into this desert temple in the next episode. I would really love for you guys to help me out, man. What should I be looking out for in this desert temple? I'm going to be taking your advice um, for going into this temple. And we're going to make sure that we don't lose any of the sweet ass loot that this temple has to offer us. And um, man, it is going to be freaking epic. We've made a little mole hole. And um, let's just get some light up in this mole hole. And uh, this is looking... No, no. I know what you guys are... I, guys, I thought exactly the same as you, man. Exactly the same. Check what we need to do. There we go. Now now we have completed the look. Um, epic, guys. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do, man. Hit that freaking like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that freaking subscribe button because we're about to go into a desert freaking temple. How sweet is that, man? Guys, it's been Randall playing Minecraft 1.4. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.